Hello everybody, my name is Steph Girl Neko and welcome back to Danganronpa, another episode. Shit. Uh, I guess I'll just read all the profiles. Alright, let's see. Komaru Naegi, height, 5 feet 4 inches, weight, 108 pounds, vitals, 33 inches? What? I'm not familiar with that measurement. Date of birth, May 31st. Where's the year? Okay. Mm. Blood type A. Likes girls manga, whatever's trending, dislikes lightning, rainy season. A, qu a quote-unquote normal girl, little sister to the quote-unquote ultimate hope, Makoto Naegi. Doesn't have any special talents. Has been imprisoned in Toa City apartment in a Toa City apartment for a year and a half. Toko Fukawa, height, five feet three inches, weight 104 pounds, vitals 31 inches. Date of birth March 3rd. Blood type O. Likes Piakia Togami. Likes romance novels. Dislikes light novels and manga. Former student of Hope's Peak Academy and the ultimate writing prodigy, famous as a young novelist, currently a Future Foundation intern, in love with co-worker Byakia Togami. Genesa Jack. Okay, stats seem to be the same as, um, Toko's. Likes Byakia Togami, adorable boys. Dislikes unadorable boys, unadorable girls. The other personality that lurks inside Toko Fukawa, a former serial killer that solely targeted adorable little men, eccentric, energetic, and also in love with Byakia Togami. Byakia Togami, height 6 feet 1 inch, weight 150 pounds, vitals 32 inches. What does that mean? Date of birth, May 5th, blood type B. Likes coffee, French. Dislikes plebeians, microwave meals. Former student of Hope's, Hope's Peak Academy and successor to Togami Group. Survived the school killing incident along with Makoto Naegi and Toko Fukawa. Makoto Naegi. Height 5 feet 2 inches. Weight 115 pounds. Vitals 30 inches. Date of birth February 5th. Blood type A. Likes curry, trendy things. Dislikes dried mackerel, dried bean curd. Former student of Hope's Peak Academy and older brother of Komaru Naegi. By defeating the ultimate despair during the school killing incident, he earned the title Ultimate Hope. Ultimate Bullshit! Height 5 feet 9 inches. Weight 143 pounds. Vitals 33 inches, date of birth April 28th, blood type O, likes beautiful things, beautiful people, dislikes noisy places, ugly people. Ever since he was captured by the Warriors of Hope, he serves as their servant. Ugh. However, he happens, he appears to have ulterior motives. He believes Hope to be the most precious thing on earth, along with bagels and being the ultimate bullshit. The hero. Well, your name, okay. Shouldn't it be the other way around? What the fuck? Wait, why why is why is uh why is he yellow? Why why are these people all yellow? What the fuck? I don't understand why you guys are yellow. Whatever. The hero, Masaru Diamond. Height 4 feet 3 inches, weight 77 pounds, vitals 24 inches, date of birth May 7th, blood type A. Likes soccer, vaulting, dislikes math and cigarettes. Why cigarettes? <laughs> Hero and the leader of the Warriors of Hope, the Lil Ultimate PE, super skilled at physical activities and sports. Though he is boastful, the others rarely take him seriously. The priest, Jatiro Kimuri. 
Height 4 feet 3 inches. Weight 66 pounds. Vitals 21 inches. Date of birth February 29th. God damn, that's the unluckiest birthday in the world. <laughs> you only celebrate your birthday once every four years. <laughs> Blood type O likes being hated, washing machines, dislikes being liked himself. Priest of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate art who can handle any arts and crafts, acknowledges and encourages being greatly disliked by his friends and himself. The fighter, K Kotoko Utsugi, height 4 feet 4 inches, weight 64 pounds, vitals 26 inches. Date of birth, June 13. Blood type A. Likes peeled chest chestnuts. Adorbs stuff. Dislikes unpeeled chestnuts. Regular cute stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so where do we draw the line between adorbs and regular cute? <laughs> I don't know. Can someone make a line? Because... I'm confused here. Also, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna look up what this vitals measurement thing is. So I don't- I don't understand what these vitals are, since vitals are usually taken in three measurements. So... I don't understand. I mean... I'm not- I'm not quite understanding what these vital measurements are. Also, it says that this vital statistics are for females, so why do the males have it too? I don't understand! I have no idea what this means. I'm- I looked it up. I'm so confused. Cause- Vital statistics are three numbers, so why why is there only one number here? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Whatever. Fighter of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate drama who used to be a famous child actor, loves adorbs things and actively collects them. Alright, let's see. The Sage, Nagisa Shingetsu, height 5 feet, or sorry, 4 feet 5 inches, weight 73 pounds, vitals 23 inches, date of birth October 23rd. Oh, he's not far from me, it's only 3 days off. Blood type AB. Let's see, likes dictionaries, Monica, dislikes earthworms, needles. Sage and vice leader of the Warriors of Hope. The Lil Ultimate Social Studies is more mature than the other Warriors of Hope, and thus often plays the role of babysitter. The Mage, Monica. Why doesn't she have a last name? That's odd. Height, 4 feet 4 inches. Weight, 62 pounds. Vitals, 26 inches. Date of birth, April 1st. <laughs> Blood type B. Likes free period, warm futons. Dislikes alone time, cold meals. I don't know, I, I do I do quite like warm futons. Nice and relaxing. Mage of the Warriors of Hope. Belil Ultimate Homeroom who loves to exchange opinions with everyone. She cannot walk and thus uses a wheelchair. Does she have crippling despair? Hiroko Hagakure. Height 5 feet 6 inches, weight 115 pounds, vitals 35 inches, date of birth July 5th, blood type A, likes cigarettes, alcohol, dislikes mother-in-law, men with no balls. Woman hiding from the children in the underground race, she's impatient with the other adults for not doing more to help, but she understands their hesitation. Taichi Fujisaki, otherwise known as Tai Chi <laughs> Hi, 5'8. Weight, 150 pounds, vitals 31 inches. Date of birth, November 8th, blood type AB. Likes laptop, his child. Dislikes snakes, 
in frogs. Hmm. Man who Komaru and Toko met at Toa Tower was killed by a beast Monokuma after activating the elevator. His only regret is not being able to see his child last one last time. Dude, that sucks. Shirakuma, height 3 feet 3 inches. Weight, vitals, date of birth, and blood type all unknown. Likes world peace, flower metal, meadows, dislikes fighting, verbal abuse. Idol of the adults and loved by the resistance members. Whenever he goes outside, he rescues injured adults and brings them back to the secret base. A pacifist who believes in peace. Kurokuma. Height 3 feet 3 inches, weight vitals, date of birth, blood all unknown. Likes good vibes, dope things. Dislikes whack things. Shit rhymes. <laughs> Bear shaped robot who pushed the idea of killing all the adults. Wears gold accessories to be more hip hop. A rapid fire talker who doesn't shut up once he starts talking. Haiji Toa. Height, 6 feet 2 inches, weight 159 pounds, vitals 34 inches, date of birth August 9th, blood type 0, likes young girls, quiet girls, dislikes old girls, <laughs> noisy girls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Leader of the resistance that hides inside the underground secret base. Very he, pl he claims to always be working on a plan he never executes. Son of Tokuichi Toa. Yuta Asahina. Height 5 feet 5 inches. Weight 130 pounds. Vitals 33 inches. Date of birth September 4th. Blood, types, blood type O. Likes sweet bean paste. Track and field. Dislikes math boredom. Boy who Komaru and Toku met at the bridge. Attempted to swim across the gap but was caught in an explosion and lost to the sea. More like he was the explosion. Jeez. Alright, paralyze. Okay, that does have bling bullets, so let's see. Oh, damn, its effect is fucking strong. I want more of these. Adorbs. We're gonna go with the Adorbs bullet. Does anything go good with that? Energetically. And that's it. Hmm. All right. All right. Here we go. Hmm. Get fucked, bitch hoes. What? You bitch. You finger snapping dancing motherfuck. Saki feels like socking all the socks. I just did. Ah, oh, shit. That is useful as fuck. I wonder what would have happened if I had paralyzed while I was standing in there. Probably nothing good. Let me look at the map. Oh my god, another one of these. Why is there water here? Don't 
don't tell me I'm gonna have to use Paralyze. I don't have enough ammo. The shielded one. It won't work even if we get a direct hit on them. Destroy them all with electricity. Move. Paralyze. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Okay. Just gonna look at that one. All those coins. Oh, hey, I remember this place. Oh, God, I have to go back through the cemetery, don't I? Wait, is there anything back here? Oh, there is. There's a shiny. I like shinies. Did I ever mention how much I fucking love shinies? Excavator! What is this? Items more likely to drop after defeating enemies. Fucking Yas Queen! Oh. Rip. Oh, look at- look at them posing. Look at all that hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Please tell me it's gonna keep being like that. I thought I saw sparkles. Uh. Nope, I guess I didn't. The skill shop. I haven't been here in a while. Sincerely... Da fuck it. Okay. Wee. Okay. Wee. Okay. Wee. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's bling that shit up. Number... Let's see... Abundant, wait. 75, I'll take- Oh shit, it goes up! Alright, dance. Yeah, I'll take abundantly. Now what does that go good with? Energetically... Furiously. I'll take furiously. Alright, let's see. Hatefully. Sadly goes well with hatefully and painfully. Sadly goes... Mm. Alright. Excellent. And, uh, sincerely. Definitely. I don't. 
Alright, let's see. Energetically, definitely gonna want as much paralyze as I can get. Can I get an excellent, please? I guess not. Alright, let's see. What? My number went down to s Oh. Rat. Why did my number go down? What the fuck? That looks good. God, I can't believe we have to go into that weird ass fucking cemetery place again. God damn, that was weird. That place is just so weird. I'm gonna give this hit list you... to. Are you really planning on going back? What other choice do we have? <gasps> Get the fuck out of my face! <laughs> I'm in a cemetery! Why? <laughs> Why do you do these things to me? Oh shit, it's still coming at me. Why does it have to be so fucked up? Future Foundation whatever. Future Foundation... That's why- that's what they call themselves? What future? I'm going to crush those hypocrites. God. This place was already creepy enough. Oh, is there any Monokuma kids in here? There's probably at least one, right? Oh, more shinies. Ha- oh no! Was there a masterpiece in- Ah, oh, shit. I missed masterpiece number two, didn't I? I don't remember picking up masterpiece number one. Tie the tongue with a rope and then tie it to a really fast car to kill them. Nail a hundred gazillion nails onto them in a cool pattern and then they die. Make them drink a lot of water and then lock them in the freezer. Make them eat their own poo-poo and kill them with fire. Ta-da, they'll never expect it. What the fuck? That's fucked. Did I did I collect a second one of those? Nice piece number. Yeah, no, I I did. I missed masterpiece number two. I also missed K Paradise Commandments number two. God damn it! I really thought- God, how much did I miss and how? How did I miss it? I thought I was pretty fucking thorough. Why is- Why is he spread out like that? What was going on here? Were they getting fucked to death? Why, why would they die in such a weird position? I'm sorry, but what? What the fuck? Hmm. hmm. God, I I don't see, I don't see any mo. I I I don't think the bodies were sticking up like this. I thought their hands were sticking out. I don't remember any legs sticking out. Why did the bodies change positions? Are those the ghosts that Kamaru sees? What There's is no going on? Can you shut your fucking mouth, please? I ain't got no room for that sass. I mean, jeez. You go... 
do your own thing then. God, now it's giving me hearts up the ass. Oh hey, there's another shiny. Oh, go fuck off with that. Uh. Okay, so I'm I'm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. Future Foundation's weapon. I found something interesting. It looks like a Monokuma has broken it, so it won't be of much use, but this seems to be a weapon designed by Future Foundation. It's some kind of bullhorn-shaped gun. Future Foundation always blabbered on about peace, but their weapon was crushed by a Monokuma in a second. Useless piece of junk now. Serves them right. And yeesh. I hope everything resolves itself, because fucking that'd be bad. Whoops, okay, maybe there's a shiny over there. Please be a shiny over there. I really don't want to walk all the way over there and not have a fucking shiny be there. God, it's so slow, but I see a Monokuma kid over there. I can't reach it. I'll have to go over to the ladder. Yeah, I'm not gonna reach it. Ugh! Why? Hmm... Wait, there's boxes? There weren't boxes here blocking off this point the last time we were here. I'm sure of it. Dude, everybody in there is gonna hate us so fucking bad. I hope we don't get fucking killed. Oh shit, no! Oh no, they're gonna get attacked and think that we caused it. No, fuck. This is gonna get so much worse. Um, where's Shirakuma? Um, hello? Hey, you too! Yay! Yay! You made it back safe! I'm glad. Now I want to hear the whole story, but first... Welcome back! Come, leap into my arms! Jeez, this guy developed a taste for hugs fast. Come on, don't be modest! Do it! Do it! I, yeah, I guess I can. I haven't taken a bath for a while, so I might be a little sticky. You comb out your hair, take a bath, and change your clothes and undergarments first. <laughs> Jeez, Bushy. Why don't I just wrap myself in a bow for you, too? Well, I was trying to do a dirty joke since usually I'm very clean. As a change of pace. Anyway, you two must be tired. Why don't you just rest for a while? Put the mood in here. 
I don't think I could sleep even if I wanted to. Aside from you, everyone seems unwelcoming. That's not it. They're just shy. I mean, not just one, but two girls in school uniforms? That's enough to make a man's heart burst. I've heard that you only appreciate being high school age after you've graduated high school. Hey everyone, aren't you glad these young girls came back to us? Oh boy. Silence. See? Totally welcoming. What the hell are you talking about? Are your ears busted or something? Hey, Shirakuma, thanks for the offer, but I really don't feel like resting right now. Kamaru, what happened? Did the connection not work? No, the connection worked fine. But I'm just not sure Future Foundation is going to come through. I see. So that's why you're so down. I'm sorry. Do you want me to pat your head? Pat her head? How many heads have you crushed with a hand like that? Like I said, I don't do anything like that. Yeah. I know. I trust you, Shirakuma. You're the only one I can trust anymore. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Shirakuma. What should I do now? I... I don't know what to do anymore. To tell you the truth, Haiji and the others are in a conference discussing exactly that. Why don't you go on in and join them? Huh? But... But... That's not a good idea. Have you already forgotten you ignored his warning and went to Toa Tower? Oh, that's nothing. That was just a small misunderstanding. We still have the same goal. To stop these out-of-control kids and free the mistreated adults. Isn't that right? I... I didn't really think it through that far. No, really. I know you can do it. Huh? Rather... You have to do it. You have to be able to save the adults. What are you saying? She's the complete opposite kind of girl you want for this. This is Armageddon, and we gotta band together and destroy that kid asteroid. Come on! Our future is in there! Jeez, what's wrong with him? Oh boy, there are some people who still want to talk to us. At least that's what I think they're gonna do, and not just beat the shit out of us. Uh, um. Uh, are you alright? <laughs> this guy was the one shouting at the monitor before. Something about his wife? <laughs> so, how did he end up like this? Rip. I guess these are How much longer voiced. do I have to stay down here? Days and days of this goddamn place! No more! I can't take it anymore! Maybe it's better to just leave her alone. Ooh, can I go inside? Oh my god, I can. Is there any shinies? <gasps> There's a shiny! Daily effort. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? XP obtained increases. Not like I really need a XP. I mean, my skill points aren't... I've certainly missed some skills. I have to have. What is Hope's Peak Elementary? Hope's Peak Elementary is, as the name suggests, an elementary school associated with the world's leading with the world leading educational institution known as Hope's Peak Academy. However, acceptance at Hope's Peak Elementary does not guarantee a seat at the academy. Only scouted students can attend. But applications for Hope's Peak Elementary keep flooding in. Why? Because the elementary is so dedicated to providing a high level of education. Mm. Like many private elementary schools, 
Host Peak Elementary uses an entrance exam with an interview segment to judge applicants. Because of this diligence, many of the elementary students are scouted for Hope Speak Academy. Host Peak Elementary is also a research institution dedicated to raising the talent of the children. Hmm. Oh my god, I am so tired. Oh god, must push through. God, it's fucking five in the morning. Yeah, I've been up all night recording I heard this shit. From Future Foundation. And what's wrong with that? I've heard rumors. Future Foundation wants to destroy this entire town. Huh? Uh, of course they don't. Who's spreading a rumor like that? I don't know. But I know there are plenty of people here who believe it. You should be careful. Just waiting down here to die. I would rather go up to the surface and die there. I, I can't die in a place like this. Let me out of here. Jeez. Why do they even have a TV in here to broadcast shit that makes everyone lose their minds? But look at all of these shinies. In the training of stacking ice cream. Thinking that she had no spe special talents whatsoever, Konomi Tenry gave up on her current life. After hanging on for 17 years, she finally realizes her special ability on the brink of her death. I have the talent to destroy <laughs> other people's talents. A girl who destroys other people's talents and a boy who doesn't think he has any talent at all. Just what road will these two? <laughs> what? <laughs> Toko. Hey, you are also a student at Hope Peak Academy, right? What's your special talent? You're right. Didn't I tell you? My talent is writing. They used to call me the ultimate writing prodigy. Amazing! Wow, that's so cool. A novelist? That's really admirable. <laughs> it, it doesn't mean anything to me to be admired by a talentless girl like you. Jeez! <laughs> you think I'm talentless, but I'm really super good at something. <laughs> you're gonna say you're super good at reading manga or something, right? Oh. Damn. Wait, you really were going to say that? N no I'm special in tons of ways. Like how I use a desk mat instead of a fan when it's hot. Or how I only get called on in class when I don't know the answer. The only thing abnormal about you is your stupidity. Aww. Kinda wish I was more normal in that area then. <laughs> now that I think about it, your reactions are all pretty normal too. Stop it! N no, stop. Don't treat me like a normal person and... anymore. How fast do you run a 100 meter dash? Aww. I wanna say 18 seconds. And what's your favorite music? Top 40. Hm. Horrifying. Uh -huh. Jeez, stop it already. You're making me sad. What's your favorite saying? All's well that ends well. And? And your favorite food? Uh -huh. Um, it's swallow's nest and tuna eyeballs. Well, that's an interesting food. Uh -huh. What? Hm? Huh? Hm? Something wrong? No. No, I must have heard you wrong. What's your favorite food? Uh -huh. I told you, swallow's nest, tuna eyeballs, oh, also I like kangaroo meat. I'm going to pretend we never had this conversation. I feel like Kamara's just saying that to fuck with her. I've, n I've never heard of tuna eyeballs as a food. Or swallow's nest. The tragedy was a future foundation conspiracy. Who's still writing these? 
Although, and who's still printing them? Although Future Foundation's stated mission is to help the world recover from the tragedy, our editorial department has received a tip that claims Future Foundation themselves caused the incident in the first place. To no one at this publication's surprise, the true ultimate despair is at the top of Future Foundation. The true ultimate despair's grand ambition was to reduce the world to a state of total despair. Actually, holy shit. Wow. I mean... I mean, they're not entirely wrong if you watch Danganronpa 3. Damn. This might be- there might be more to this than I thought. The true ultimate despair's grand ambition was to reduce the world to a state of total despair. By inventing an opponent, they significantly complicated the situation to further plunge the world into despair. This opponent is Future Foundation. That organization was intentionally built to be dysfunctional and to try to combat the despair with increasingly drastic measures. The reason why it took so long for the incident to settle down was because Future Foundation was protecting the despair. There can be no other explanation. Oh shit, they kept- Oh yeah, they kept the well, Nyegi kept the remnants of despair after finding them instead of just killing them. Holy shit! I mean, it may not be their intention, but holy shit, these rumors aren't necessarily baseless. Wow. Holy shit! <laughs> Consider this, the ones who developed the air purifier was not Future Foundation, but Toa Group. Isn't it strange to think that Future Foundation, on whom the fate of the world relies, are technologically inferior to a single company? Ha hold on, they're at least half correct about some of these accusations. Wow. Damn. Anyways, uh, that's all the time I have for this episode, so, uh, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you all next time, and bye bye